Hey guys, Zom Fox here, and we are talking about for the second time today a Philadelphia star player signing with an NFL team in Matt Colburn, the second formerly of the Philadelphia Stars, heading to Jacksonville to join Kyle Slaughter. As for Matt Colburn, he was the sportsman of the year in the US Felf, you know, being great and stuff like that, as a great guy. And overall he was picked in the twenty eighth round, seventh pick. So he wasn't, you know, a top pick running back, yet he was still very solid. He, as I said pretty much the whole year, was he was mainly a guy who would have sparks where at certain games he would just be incredible. Overall, he was 6th in rushing yards at 457, which he could have been closer if he had a couple other games. And he was 2nd in rushing touchdowns at 8. Very solid player. If he had been healthy in that title game, there's a very good shot that the Stars win the championship as a, a lot of health issues hit the Stars really hurt really hard but as a running back very solid one of the best running backs in the league so yeah it's just you know a shame that Darius Victor existed and kind of made it so he didn't win anything as to the Jags running back depth very solid the fact that their starters Travis Etienne already suggests this team has good depth because you could argue without a doubt that he should not be their starter because James Robinson exists awesome running back great player then third string Snoop Connor and then fourth string Mackay Sargent. So, as for Mackay Sargent, he's heading into like a second year. He played literally with three teams last year. He pretty much did nothing with all of them. He could definitely be overtaken by Matt. Snoop Connor was a fifth round pick in this draft. So, he wasn't a super high pick, so there's a chance Colburn could overtake him. Then their starter, ETN, he was a 25th overall pick last year. He didn't play because of injuries. And the guy that I think is the best running back on their team is James Robinson. To put it simply, he had 1,000 yards in 14 games in 2020. That was like when there were only a few running backs to even hit 1,000 yards, and he did it, with also having 340 yards receiving. Then last year, he was just a couple yards removed from 1,000 total, as he had 767 rushing and 222 receiving, though there were a lot of issues between him and Urban Meyer, as I'm pretty sure he has the most public of all the players who had issues with Urban, but... Overall, he's a very solid running back, and I feel like the only reason ETN is a starter is because, you know, Clemson boys, him and Trevor. But overall, either way, it's like, I mean, it's not that big a deal if you go from one to the other. I mean, they're both really solid players. But I think for Colburn, I think his ceiling is third string. I think his floor is fourth string. I think that it should be really easy for him to get above Makai Sargent. But Snoop Connor is kind of how well he shows in in the training camp, stuff like that, and how much the Jags value, you know, a fifth round pick, but we'll see. This has been Zom Fox. If you enjoy this content, we'll be notified as soon as I upload any videos. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, have a great night.